الحمد للہ وسلاۃ وسلام رسول الکریم اما بعد اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی ڈیئر بردرز اینڈ سسٹرز ان اسلام اینڈ ان ہیومینٹی السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ مے پیس مرسی اینڈ بلیسنگ آف اللہ بی اپون یو ٹوڈے مائی ٹاپک از گو ڈز ناٹ پرفارم ان گوڈلی ایکٹس دا اٹریبیوٹس آف آل مائٹی گوڈ پروکلیوڈ اینی ایول سنس گوڈ از دا فاؤنٹین ہیڈ آف جسٹس مرسی اینڈ ٹروتھ گوڈ کین نیور بی تھوٹ of as doing an ungodly act hence we cannot imagine god telling a lie being unjust making a mistake forgetting things and other such human failings similarly god can do injustice if he wants but he will never do it because being unjust is an ungodly act the holy quran says Allah is never unjust in the least degree. Al-Quran 4 verse 40 God can be unjust if he wants, but the moment God does injustice, he ceases to be God. God does not forget, nor does he make mistakes. God will not forget anything because forgetting is an unjust. ungodly act which reeks of a human limitations and failing similarly god will not make a mistake because making mistakes is an ungodly act my lord never errs nor forgets al quran 20 verse 52 god performs only godly acts he has power over all things The Islamic concept of God is that God has power over all things. The Holy Quran says in several places, For verily, Allah has power over all things. Al-Quran 2 verse 106, 2 verse 109, 2 verse 284, 3 verse 29, 16 verse 77 and 35 verse 1. Further, the glorious Quran says, Allah is the doer of all he intends. Al-Quran 85 verse 16 We must keep in mind that Allah intends only godly acts and not ungodly acts. Many religions at some point believe directly or indirectly in the philosophy of anthropomorphism. For example, God taking a human form. Their contention is that Almighty God is so pure and holy that He is unaware of the hardships, shortcomings and feelings of human beings. In order to set the rules for human beings, He came down to earth in the form of a human. This deceptive logic has fooled million through the ages let us now analyze this argument and see if it stands the test of reason allah subhanahu wa taala has endowed us humans with reason and intelligence we invent and manufacture appliances for specific purposes tape recorders for instance are manufactured in large numbers It has never been suggested that in order to understand what is good for the tape recorder that the manufacturer should become a tape recorder himself one simply assumes that the manufacturer will publish an instruction manual since he has complete knowledge of his product in short the instruction manual gives the do's and don't for the machine if you think of the human being as a machine it is indeed a complex creation of allah subhanahu wa taala overlord and creator allah subhanahu wa taala 
need not come in the form of a human being to know what is good or bad for the human being he only has to reveal the instruction manual to mankind the holy quran is the instruction manual for human being moreover allah will call his creation to account on the day of judgment it therefore stands to reason that the creator informs us about the do's and don't of life allah chooses messengers allah subhanahu wa ta'ala needs not come down personally for writing the instruction manual over the ages allah has chosen men in every nation to deliver the divine message such chosen men are called messengers and prophets of god despite the absurdity of the philosophy of anthropomorphism followers of many religions believe in and preach it to others is it not an insult to human intelligence and to the creator who gave us this intelligence such people are truly deaf and blind despite the faculty of hearing and sight given to them by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the holy quran says deaf dumb and blind they will not return to the path al quran 2 verse 18 the bible gives a similar message in the gospel of matthew seeing they see not and hearing they hear not neither do they understand matthew 13 verse 13 a similar message is also given in the hindu scriptures in the rigved there may be someone who sees the words and yet indeed do not see them maybe another one who hears these words but indeed does not hear them rigveda 1071 verse 4 all these scriptures are telling its reader that though the things are made so clear still they turn away from the truth astaghfirullah allazi la ilaha illa huwa al hayyul qayyum wa atubu ilayhi wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh